All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Right and Wrong versus Good and Bad. I was listening to Mansions at Work, and one of the brothers said, you know, um, in America, we have right and wrong, which can be legal, but that doesn't necessarily make it good and bad. So you can do something right, and it, you know, as far as legality is concerned, uh, but it'd be something bad. And as people, we do that also. Um, you know, we might feel like something is right because it is legal. Or, you know, that's why they, they have ethics and, you know, ethics and morals are kind of two different things. And to be unethical and immoral are similar, but not necessarily the same thing. Because even as Corey said, you know, sometimes you can be around somebody and they do the right thing. But when somebody does the something that's good, you automatically know that that's how it was supposed to be done. Because you can do something right, but when somebody does something good, you have you automatically know the difference, you know. Um, that as the same way you could do something wrong, and versus you can do something bad, you know. You could do something wrong, and it can be very much so unintentional and um, an accident by mistake. But if you do something bad, you meant to do it, you know. You you, you your intent was very much so ill. So, sometimes I think we blur the lines and we muddy the waters of right and wrong because, to a degree, American society can let you be a bad person and do something right and get something right because um, our culture and our society is one based in getting rewarded for doing something unethical and immoral but it's illegal you know you could tell something is fundamentally wrong with it but you can't say it's uh illegal right i remember you know people like talking about the president of president trump about him and his bankruptcies and I, and i remember prior to that like along the campaign about the things he was doing with taxes and this that and the third People were mad, and he said, hey, you could be mad, but that was legal. What I did was not illegal. And people had to pause and like, yeah, he's, he's not lying. What he did wasn't illegal at the time. I don't, it's still probably not illegal. But people was like, that's wrong, what you did to those people. And he's like, mm -hmm. was it illegal, though? And people forget that. People forget that aspect of it where, you know, Sometimes people are good and do and do the right thing, but it can end up bad legally, right? Well, I mean, they they could be good. The people, the person could be doing doing good, but it wind up being a wrong thing because they have legal reper, repercussions for it and consequences, you know. And what I mean by that is, you know, you can see somebody getting attacked and intervene and winding up um, defending the person but hurting the attacker. And you can wind up getting put in jail for assault. And if it goes horribly wrong, you know, uh, manslaughter. You don't know, your intentions was to defend a person who you felt like was defenseless or up against odds that weren't, um, that were just ridiculous, that they needed help. But it didn't end that way. It, it, it ended in you paying the cost for that. You know, the, the, the predator became the victim in that scenario. So we forget about stuff like that. And we forget about, you know, in our society, you know, um, you can lie to people, you can use people, you can manipulate people, um, you can play people against each other for your own benefit, and that, and that not necessarily be illegal. That can all be legal. You can set people up, you know, 
you know, they say entrapment, you know, entrapment is, is something that's technically illegal, but that depends on who does it. Right? And, and our judicial system plays this out all the time about what's right and what's wrong. You know, all of the things that have been right in the past that we have to, that this country had to rectify, well, that was, that was a bad look. That was wrong. But they never atoned everything. You know, that that, that part never uh, got into play. Because remember, you know, Lawless, the movie with uh, Shia LaBeouf and uh, Tom Hardy. And there's another movie about um, uh, bootlegging when, when alcohol uh, and prohibition when alcohol was illegal. But Elliot Ness, the character, and all of the alcohol was being made like downtown Chicago inside of the post office, you know. And that was a thing, and that was based on a true story. But the reason I'm saying that is because. The country wanted alcohol, and, it, and even though it probably is a bad thing because a lot of the abuse that people talk about and a lot of the, the cheating and the, 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 the abuse came from alcoholism back in the day, and people never tied the two together really. So that's part of the reason for all of these old stories of people getting done so bad but because it made so much money you know we got to make it legal so we can get in on this it's the same thing that's going on with marijuana today you know and the and when when uh people were paying attention to the heroin overdoses when they had it the clinics that was giving them that other stuff that was trying to, you know, um, bring people down from heroin and fentanyl. Which is part of this issue is because when you think about good and, and good people, good people rarely get treated right. You know, our whole basis of, of, of our religious basis in, in America is Christianity which is based on a good man being killed for being a good man. So we never think about how prevalent that is and how that, that ideology permeates through the culture where people can be good, but you ain't good enough. Even Jesus wasn't good enough in, in the Bible. People wanted everything. Give me more. Give me this. Give me that. See, people forget uh, when Jesus started, like told people, stop touching him. Give me, get off me. You know, I'm, mm, 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 done. Because everybody wanted and wanted and wanted, and a few people gave. And, you know, people interact with good people in, a, in, in an entitled sense, and, and, in, and sometimes a downright evil sense. Like, you're so good, you're going to give me what I want. And I'm, I get to take what I want, and I'm gonna just leave. And I, I think about that because also in American culture, one of the 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 criminal is is definitely exalted higher than the good person. Everything about America was based on criminality. So, you know, the nice guy finishes last. Um, you know, they, everybody likes the bad boy type thing. Uh, good girls are no fun. You know, that type of ideology, right? Where we forget. Because, and, and because of that ideology, we put these bad people on a pedestal and they can somehow, some way, they, they have an ounce of goodness that we are, are, are hoping and gravitating to because they're not all bad. But... Good people, because they're not, they can't just be all good. They have to be a little bit bad. They're judged on the little bit of bad that may be in them. And that's not right, you know, 
but that's what happens. And to exalt a bad person and look for the good in them, that's wrong, but that's what we do. And we forget about these things and how they play out over time because basically, you know, right and wrong trumps good and bad. And if you notice, we only recognize how, how good people are when they're dead. We only demonize people about how bad they were when they're dead. So this is our cultural issue, you know. People did something that was right. And we might pick it apart. When people do something that's wrong, you know, or we ignore if they do something right. But if they do something wrong, we, you know, we're, we're putting them on blast 24-7. So I think we're... We're the sociopaths as far as the society. The society is, is has a pathological problem. But I'm done on this, man. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.